So in this video, we're going to take the vehicle to the next step. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to send messages back and forth. One thing you'll notice right now, if we put the vehicle to motion and we put the frog in its way, um, the vehicle collides, intersects, touches the frog, and nothing really changes. Um, it's very strange. So um, that's really not the way we want our video game to work. So in order to fix that problem, we have to write the code ourselves. So let's uh, do that. We're going to do that in two parts. The first part is going to be the frog and, uh, or sorry, the second part is going to be the frog. The first part is going to actually be the vehicle because it's just much easier to do it that way. So if you click on the vehicle here and you can go and see our code that makes the vehicle move, we're going to add some code into, um, into here and the way that I'm going to do it, I'm going to try and be lazy and do it the easiest way. One of the things I noticed when this drop down menu occurred was that the, there's our frogger um, and I'm just going to duplicate this whole block, move it down here. Please make sure that when you put it back that it just attaches to the bottom. If it goes inside that's bad, that, that means that it's only going to check if it's touching the edge at the same time, which is just weird. Um, so. In this second block, I'm going to change this to say if touching the frogger. And uh, I don't want this go to x. That, that doesn't make any sense for what I'm going to try and do. So then I'll connect those back up like this and then put that back inside the forever. And now I've got a hole here. Um, and by the way, just in case uh, you're wondering where does this name come from and how does it know, um, if you want to rename your frog, all you have to do is click on the sprite down here. And then you can just uh, rename it however you want. I can go back and call it frog and then I can go back to my vehicle and you can see it's already recognized that because I renamed it it now just calls it frog. So that that's very convenient. Um, you can call it yours Sam or whatever you want that's fine. Um, but if it's touching the frog then what we want the, the vehicle to do what we want in this case a convertible green car to do is for it to send a message to the frog to say that you're dead. Um, and so the way that we could do that, we could do that um, through an event called a broadcast. And so you can see here that you can receive broadcasts and you can send broadcasts. Um, but that there's a little bit of a delay there um, and it, it, I'd like to do it much quicker than that. So I'm going to instead use something called a variable. So I'm going to use a variable that I send back and forth. Um, this my variable is kind of a, d a default and I don't, I don't really care about that. So I'm going to make a variable. And uh, for the purpose of this game, we're going to call it frog is dead. Um, although that sounds that sounds very bad. You know what? Let's change it. Alive. Um, so frog is alive. I've, I'm calling it all one word, no spaces. I've got a couple capitals in there to help me read it. Um, frog is alive. I'm going to make it for all sprites, and I'm going to say OK. And so at the beginning of the game, we want to set frog is alive to one. One. There it is. Okay. So at the beginning of the game, as soon as the green flag is clicked, uh, the car is going to go to that spot and we're going to set frog is alive to one. Um, and at some point down here, very conveniently, if the vehicle is touching the frog, then the frog is no longer going to be alive. So I'm going to grab another one of these set frog is alive and I'm going to leave it there and say it's at zero. So I've got one set frog is alive is to one at the beginning of the game and later on in the game if the vehicle touches the frog we're going to set frog to zero. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a comment here. So if I go to the orange area and right click on it I can add a comment and I'm going to say um, frog is alive. Uh, so I'm going to say when true set to one. I'm just going to move that over a little bit so it's a little easier to read. And uh, actually, let's move it down a space. Do, 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 do. And then when false set to zero. So this is when he's dead, and this is when he's alive. Okay, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. I'll just make that a little smaller. So 
at the beginning of the game, the frog is alive, and then every time a vehicle touches the frog, the frog is no longer alive. So let's test this out. I'm going to go over here and click the green flag. You can see everything is now set in motion. My car immediately teleported back to its starting location and started moving. The frog is down here in the start location. I'm going to put it up there and uh, the frog got set to zero. That's good. I think that, that worked the way I wanted it to do. Let's try it again. Click the green flag. Everybody moves. It says frog is alive is set to one up here. You can see that. I'm going to move the frog into the way. And then as soon as it touches, it says frog is alive is zero. Oh, look, it worked right the first time. I just didn't, it was too fast for me. I didn't notice it. So this is part one, which is the vehicle sends the message to the car using our variables saying you're now dead. And in the next video, we're going to receive that message. The frog is going to receive that message and react to the fact that it is now dead. Okay, so thank you very much. Look forward to the next video.